God is going to punish you if you continue to do the evil that he hates. If you continue to embrace homosexuality, if you continue to engage in pornography, if you continue to support the murder of abortion, if you continue in lust and pride and greed and selfishness, embracing what God hates, refusing to repent, God will punish you. So I have to warn you today and tell you that you don't have to go to hell. You don't have to remain separated from God. You can have eternal life. You can have peace with God. God has had mercy on humanity by making a way, making a way for humanity to be reconciled to himself by punishing his son as a blood sacrifice, a substitute for sinners. Who is that? That's Jesus Christ. He came into the world. Please don't take that. Fuck you, dude. He came into the world for the purpose of dying for sinners to take the punishment that they deserve. That's why Jesus Christ became incarnate. The second person of triune God took on human flesh so that he could die a painful, bloody death, nailed to a cross, punished by God the Father, so that you don't have to be punished if you put your faith in him. So that sinners don't have to receive the wrath of God that they deserve for their sin. Hellfire that they deserve. You don't have to take that wrath from God. You can come to God and cry out to forgiveness and say, Jesus Christ died for my sin. Jesus Christ took my punishment. He not only died for sinners, but he rose from death and he lives in heaven now to be a righteous representative on behalf of all those who put their faith in him. He not only died for sinners, but he rose from death and he lives in heaven now to be an advocate on behalf of all those who repent and believe in him. When you really believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you will no longer be condemned to hellfire, but you will have eternal life. You will have peace with God that never ends. Peace with God living in, with Him in heaven instead of burning in agony in hell like, like we deserve for our sin. We've all rebelled against God. We all deserve hell. But God has had mercy. That's the good news of the gospel today. Gospel means good news. That's good news for you today. You don't have to go to hell. You can be set free from the bondage of sin that you've been living in. You can be set free from the slavery of sin. And it's, had, it's had you bound. You can be set free from the bondage of homosexuality. You can be set free from the bondage of pornography. You can be set free from every sin. Jesus Christ came to set people free. He came to give them abundant life. True life is a relationship with God. True death is separation from God. Many of you are spiritually dead and you need the Holy Spirit to come live inside of you and radically change you and give you love for children in the womb and give you love for other people so that you don't dehumanize them through pornography. To give you love for other people so that you stand up for the rights of the poor and the weak and the needy and the oppressed. Seek justice and love mercy. Seattle doesn't care about justice. Seattle doesn't care about justice. But we're going we're gonna to show Seattle what the justice of God looks like. It looks like the death penalty for people who murder their children. God demands the death penalty for people who murder their children. It's time to abolish abortion. It's time to abolish abortion in the state of Washington. justice. In the United States of America. Now is the time for justice. Little children are being mass murdered in your city. But the people of Seattle don't care. Justice. The people of Seattle do not care. They continue to peacefully coexist with baby murder in their city over and over and over again. And it needs to be addressed. It needs to be exposed. It needs to be called out so that people can understand. Hey, I've been a bigot. People need to understand that they have been living a lifestyle of bigotry, discriminating against people based on their age and their size and their level of development. People have been living a lifestyle of...